The name of this tutorial is Ira Krakow's Blender 2.49b Hat Tutorial. This tutorial is based on the Blender 3D Noob to Pro Wikibook Hat Creation Tutorial, and I have the link in the show notes. Even though the hat is simple, creating it shows off an advanced Blender mesh feature, the Spin Tool. The Wikibook actually creates the hat as one step in creating a simple person. In this tutorial, I'll just focus on how to create the hat object. We'll create the hat from a mesh circle. Although I use Blender 2.49b, this tutorial would work in any Blender 2.4x version because we'll set up the user preferences explicitly. So here are the steps. Fire up Blender. Expand the user preferences window by dragging down on its bottom border. In the view and controls panel, enable view name so that we will know what view we're working in. Then click on edit methods. In the Add New Objects section, click Align to View. This will make Blender create new objects aligned to whatever view we're in. After you've made these changes, drag up on the bottom border to contract the user preferences to its original position. Now delete the default cube. Right-click to select, then press X and enter to confirm. The 3D view is in top view with orthographic projection. Orthographic projection is best when modeling because the model size is not affected by distance. Press numpad 3 to go to the right side view. Press shift C to place the 3D cursor at 000. We know the 3D cursor is there because it's at the intersection of the blue line, the Z axis, and the green line, the Y axis. Press the C key to center the view. Add a circle mesh with 12 vertices by pressing space, add mesh, circle. Change the number of vertices from the default to 12, from the default of 32 vertices. Click OK. Now we're going to make the outline of the hat. It's this outline that we will spin to create the hat. Press Tab to go into Edit Mode, then switch to Edge Select Mode, either by pressing Control Tab and selecting Edges, or clicking on the diagonal line icon that signifies an edge. Delete the three bottom edges by right-clicking the first edge and shift right clicking to add the second and third edges to the selection. Then press the X key and select edges. We're going to move some vertices to create the hat outline. Switch to vertex select mode by either pressing control tab and selecting vertices or clicking on the icon with the little spots that indicate vertex select mode. Disable the transform manipulator by clicking on the hand icon or by pressing control spacebar and selecting disable. Right click on the two leftmost vertices one at a time and press the G key to move them so that they make a hat brim on the left. Then do the same with the two rightmost vertices. Move each of them one at a time so that they make a hat brim on the right. This is our hat shape, the shape we're going to spin. Before we use the spin tool, we need to position the 3D cursor in the correct spot. In this case, the 3D cursor needs to be at the rightmost vertex of the hat outline. First, select the rightmost vertex, then press Shift-S and choose Cursor to Selection. The cursor snaps to the rightmost vertex. Now select all the vertices of the outline by pressing the A key twice, the first time to deselect the rightmost vertex, the second time to select all the vertices of the outline. Press NumPad 7 to go into top view. Switch to the editing panel, F9. In the Mesh Tools tab, find the spin, spin dupe, and screw buttons. We need to fill in the fields in the next line to get the spin tool to create the complete hat. The spin is the first button on the left. Set degree to 360, a full circle rotation, steps to 12, and turns to 1. We only need one turn. Now the magic happens. Click the spin button. Something happens, but was a hat created? Well, if we press num3 to go to right side view, we see that indeed we did create a hat. What happened was that the outline we created was spun around the z-axis to create a hat. Press F12 to render. We have a hat, but there's a seam. The reason is that we have duplicate vertices. The spin actually created two copies of the outline, one at 0 degrees and another at 360 degrees. To fix this problem, press the A key twice to select all the vertices, then press the W key to bring up the Specials menu and select Remove Doubles. To make a back visor, go to the Edge Select mode and select the back four edges. Press E to extrude the edges, 
z to extrude them down in the z direction downwards, so it's really the minus z direction, and press F12 to render. To smooth out the hat, to make it look less like a bunch of triangles, from the edit menu F9 in the links and materials section press set smooth. Then in the modifiers tab select subsurf at level 3. Press F12 to render. There it is, your basic hat shape. You can now add some nice materials and textures, maybe a feather. Shape the hat any way you want. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please hit the YouTube subscribe button so you won't miss any more of my tutorials. Also, please comment on my Blender forum at forum.iracrackow.com. Happy blendering!